Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I will share five powerful productivity apps for your new Mac or MacBook. I use these apps all the time, and they save me tons of time and organize my activities. So let's dive in and discover. All right, so the very first app I want to talk about is known as Dashlane. So let me launch it really quickly. I'm going to show you what it is and what it does. It's a powerful productivity tool. So it's right over here. Let me just click it. And that's Dashlane. This is a password manager where you can save all your passwords. Now, this is a cross-platform tool. So even if you save your passwords on a Mac PC, you can use it on a Windows PC as well. You can use it on an Android device or an iOS device, such as an iPhone or an iPad. So you're not limited to one platform. You can take your passwords anywhere you go. Now, on top of that, there are some amazing features for Dashlane. The one that I use a lot is the fact that it allows you to auto-fill and auto-login to any website or app that you please. So let me launch Safari real quick. I'm going to show you how it works. Now, as you can see, here's the Dashlane uh, icon over here. It has an extension for Safari. So let me just go to Netflix really quick. Let me just search Netflix. It saves the website, saves my username and my password right here. So I'm going to click on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Sign On and watch how quickly it auto fills and auto logs you in right away. So I'm going to click sign in, boom, right over here, and it's going to log you right in. Okay, so I'm good to go, ready to watch movies. And of course, you can also use Dashlane to auto fill personal info and credit card info quickly and painlessly to speed up your checkout process, as you can see. So that's the power of Dashlane. Now, Dashlane is much more than just this, okay? If we go in here, I want to show you, you can have secure notes saved over here. And again, this is going to be cross-platform. So any notes that you have here are going to show up in other devices as well. For example, you can have a bank account information right over here, which is fully secure. You can have your own personal information, such as email, uh, phone number, address, uh, company information, you can have your payment information such as credit cards and all that stuff, IDs, receipts, and then you have some powerful security tools. You can go to identity dashboard and it tells you your password health score. So it looks like I have two safe uh, passwords, but I have 24 reused passwords and also I have 19 very weak passwords. So from here, I can take a look at my password information and make changes as I desire. And again, you can go to the password health and it'll show you what's reused, what is weak, and what is excluded. So if I go to my weak passwords over here, I can click any one of these. Now, one more thing that is absolutely fantastic is if you go over here up to the passwords. So if I go to password changer, it shows me my very unsafe password for crunchyroll.com. So all I have to do is click change now and it's gonna auto generate a powerful password. It's gonna go to crunchyroll.com, log into my account, change my password automatically, and save the new password in Dashlane. So that's fantastic. And again, you can go into individual uh, accounts here, just tap on it, and again, over here, you can tap on this. It'll tell you this password is extre extremely unsafe. So Dashlane, again, not only is it a password manager, it also gives you uh, security, for your password so you do not get hacked and people gain access to your accounts. And then finally, if I were to add a new password, let's just go to add new for a minute. Let's say I choose a website, www.putmylogin.id. And then over here, when I go to the password field, I have the option to tap on generate that allows me to generate powerful passwords. I can use mixed case letters. I can use symbols if I want to. I can change the size of that password. I can make it less, I can make it like 10, I can just take out all these things and it's just going to use letters, but it's best to use mixed case letters and also digits. So as you can see, it is generating and saving it for me right here, okay? And then when I click OK, I can pick a category such as health, and then I click OK, and it's going to save that password with that powerful auto-generated password that is impossible to hack, all right? So that is Dashlane, uh, it's going to be free to download but you can also get access to their premium services. In this case, if you use the link down in the description box below, you're gonna be getting 10% off, off of their premium services. Again, the links are down below. Just click that link or go to dashlane.com slash Saki and just follow instructions to sign up. And now let's move on to the next application.
All right, so the next application I want to talk about is called Folder Tidy. It's an application that allows you to uh, clean up messes on your desktop or any given folder. Now, we are going to concentrate on the desktop. Now, as you can see, my desktop is a disaster. All these photos and folders are, are just sitting on the desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch Folder Tidy. Uh, it's going to be right over here. I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So when I click on this, the first thing it wants you to do is choose which folder you want to tidy. So I picked up desktop as you can see, but you can click choose over here and pick any folder that you desire. And then over here, choose where the files and folders will be organized. So this could be the desktop itself or a folder within the desktop or a folder elsewhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically simply going to clean up this mess over here by clicking the tidy button here. So I'm gonna click tidy and boom, within seconds, all the folders are organized uh, by, by text files, by PDF files, by photo files, and all that good stuff. Now what you can do is, now if you don't like the way Folder Tidy has uh, arranged your desktop, you can actually undo and it will go back to exactly what it was before. So you're not gonna lose that other desktop setting if you were more comfortable with that, all right? But if you want it, you just quit. Uh, and then click confirm quit and you are done. Now my desktop is so much more clear. Great productivity app. This one is known as the magnet application. So let me go to the application really quickly. I'm gonna launch it. So let's find the magnet. It's right over here. When you launch magnet, you'll see an icon on the top over here in the bar. And then when you click it, it shows you all the things you can do with it using keyboard shortcuts. Or what you can do is you can drag windows around and just snap them into place as you can see at the bottom, snap windows by dragging. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me launch three apps. So let me launch uh, Safari, let me launch Mail, and let me launch Notes. So I have three applications on my desktop, and I want to organize these so I can work with them all together. What I can do is I can grab one of these guys and then basically look at the commands over here, and what I can do is I can tap on Control Option and any one of these keys to put them anywhere. So let's put this to the life, uh, right. So I'm gonna tap on control option, left key, boom, it's all over here. Then I can take this guy over here. I can tap on control option, right arrow, boom, it's right over there. So now I'm multitasking in split screen. But let's say I want all three uh, on the screen. So this one I can do, what I can do with this one is, I can tap over here and let's see what's the option for the top right. So I'm gonna use uh, control option I. So I'm gonna t tap on uh, control option I and that's what I have and then this one over here I'm gonna do it on the bottom right again if you click on this button over here it says control option K so I'm gonna go to that window I'm gonna tap on control option K at the same time boom now I've got three windows side by side on which I can easily multitask and this one is known as the magnet application all right let's move on to the next fantastic app now the next application is something I, think I use for photo editing all the time. So if you're looking for a photo editor or an image editor that is kind of like Photoshop but not as expensive, uh, you can get the Pixel Mater application. Let me launch it, let me show you exactly what it is. So let's launch it right here. And then from here you can create a new document. You can give it the, uh, you can pick a width, a height, resolution and all that stuff. You click OK and boom, you've got all these amazing things you can do uh, with this uh, editor. Just to give you a quick example, let's just type in some text here. So, uh, great editor, okay? And then if you click on this uh, thing, again, you can take this, uh, here is the uh, layers browser. You can convert this into uh, pixels, and then you can grab any one of these um, effects. You can just drag it on top of it, and it's gonna add any effect that you want onto your uh, text or any image that you want. Again, here is the tools. So you got everything you would need over here. You got the eraser tool. Uh, you've got the dodge tool. You've got the burn tool. Uh, again, if you are looking for a photo editor or an image editor for your Mac, this is the one to get at an affordable price with maximum features. It's just full of features left and right. All right, now let's move on to the next application. All right, so the final application I'm gonna talk about is known as Daisy Disk. This is a gorgeous software that shows you exactly how your space, uh, your hard, hard drive space is being utilized on your Mac. So if I go to the applications over here and launch Daisy Disk, uh, this is the first interface you're gonna see. It's gonna recognize all the various disks that you have attached to your Mac 
And then if you want to go and take a look at the details of one of these, uh, in this case, I'm going to be taking a look at the, my main Macintosh hard drive. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on scan. It's going to scan the disk. And then within seconds, I'm going to get a beautiful map view of how my disk is being utilized. And this is going to allow me to better manage my storage space. So take a look at this one. Uh, Macintosh HD is using 189 gigabytes of storage. Uh, the free space is 311 right over here. And then over here, I can uh, go over these various colors and it shows me that the users is taking one of four gigabytes. If I go up a little bit, it says count, gives me a breakdown. Count is my username uh, for this MacBook. Gives me a nice, beautiful uh, breakdown. As you can see, uh, if you look at that, movies are taking 32 gigabytes of space. Then I got documents for 37 gigabytes and all that. If I go over here, it shows me how much music is taking. And if I go over here, it shows me how, how much my YouTube library is taking. If I go up again, uh, you can get details on every single uh, thing over here. Over here, it, it is showing me how much space my music is taking. So it's a nice visual interface of how much disk space is being utilized by what kind of uh, file or folder, all right? So that was the last application for my best productivity apps for your Mac.